Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Myself Khushidi, I am from Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering and today's topic is Components of Information System. So in this session we will be learning what are the different components of information system. So now let us know the definition of what is an information system. An information system is a collection of components that work together to provide information to help in the operations and management of an organization. So what are the information system components? So they are hardware, software, stored data, personnel and procedures. Types of information system. There are different types of information system. Individual information system, work group information system, organizational information system, inter-organizational information system, global information system. So these are the information system components that is hardware, this is software, this is personal and these are the procedures. This is the stored data. Hardware of information system. Input and output devices. In the input devices, we have keyboard, pointing device and others. In the output, we have screens, printers and others. Hardware of information system. Terminals, input and output combined, multimedia input and output, virtual reality input and output. Hardware of information system. Primary storage, that is RAM, random access memory, and ROM, read-only memory. ROM is non-volatile storage. Hardware of information system. Central processing unit, that is CPU, microcomputer, mini computers, mainframe computers, supercomputers. Secondary storage. Magnetic disk, also called a disk, optical disk, that is CD, magnetic tape, also called tape. Hardware, secondary storage examples. These are some of the examples. Types of computer systems. We have personal computer systems, multiple users computer systems, network computer systems. Software of information systems. Types of software, system software, operating systems, utilities, communications software, application software. So application softwares. So we have individual application software, work group application software, organizational application software, Interorganizational application software. So this uh, image depicts the application software. Application software. Individual application software that is word processing, spreadsheet, browser. Work group application software that is electronic messaging and electronic conferencing. So these are very important that is electronic messaging and electronic conferencing. Next we have is software of information system that is application software, organizational application software, inter-organizational application software that is electronic data interchange EDI. Types of software according to source, packaged software, purchased from market, custom software, created by programmers. Stored data of information system, data is kept in the computer system, data used by software, data does not include input and output data, data stored in secondary storage until needed. Data can represent facts, numbers, words, images, pictures, 
sounds. Data is usually composed of characters, letters, numbers, special symbols. Stored data of information system. So this is a pick of how data is stored in an information system. So this pick tells about it. You can observe it. Personal of information system. Personal means users of information system. Personal supply input data. Personal receive output data or information. Personal of information system. Operating personal. Run hardware and software. Enter input data for and pass output data and information to user. Operate computers and execute programs. Procedures of information system. Procedures of information system are the instructions that tell people how to use and operate the system. System documentation. Procedures of information system. Procedures can be input instructions, expected output, how to operate the hardware and software, instructions to recover from errors. Next, applications of information system. So these are some of the applications of information system that is electronic messaging, information sharing, document sharing, document conferencing, audio conferencing, video conferencing. Applications of information system that is electronic conferencing. We have electronic meeting support, then group calendaring and scheduling, workflow management. Applications of information system, direct uses in business. So we have sales and marketing, manufacturing, finance, accounting, human resources. So management support information systems. So we have management information system, decision support systems, executive support systems and expert systems. Information systems benefits providing better information for better decision making, improving service for customers, improving productivity to allow people to accomplish more in period of time. So these are some of the very important benefits of information system. Thanks for watching. Please do like my video.